This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. The Meghalaya government has decided to shut down tourist spots till the 31st of this month as part of its measures to prevent any possible transmission and outbreak of novel coronavirus. The government requested all tourists intending to visit Shillong and other places in Meghalaya to reschedule their travel plans accordingly. The state's preparedness to tackle the spread of COVID-19 was also reviewed by Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma through video conference with Deputy Commissioners and Medical Officers of all districts. The Meghalaya government has also warned that any person found hoarding, black marketing or selling at a higher price than the maximum retail price of masks and hand sanitizers shall be punishable under Section 3 of the Prevention of Black Marketing and Maintenance of Supplies of Essential Commodities Act 1980. Meanwhile, owners of hotels, guest houses and inns in Meghalaya's East Kasi Hills district have been asked to submit a report online regularly within 24 hours regarding the arrival or departure of foreigners in their respective premises in view of the novel coronavirus threat. Over 39,000 people have been screened across Assam as part of measures to prevent the outbreak of the deadly novel coronavirus. The Assam Health Department in its daily bulletin said 11,975 passengers have been screened at six airports in the state till date. While 3,243 travellers were screened at three land ports, 24,029 persons have been screened so far at places like railway stations and bus stands. A total of 634 travellers from COVID-19 affected countries have been identified, out of which 152 passengers completed the observation period of 28 days and the remaining 482 are under home isolation. The government has tested 31 samples so far, out of which 25 came negative and the results for 6 are awaited. State control room numbers 691 Double three four double seven seven zero one six nine one double three four triple seven zero two six nine one double three four triple seven zero three and one zero four are functional. The Assam government has also stopped issuing passes to visitors for entering the state secretariat to prevent the spread of the virus. Mizoram Health Minister Dr. R. Lal Thangliana yesterday said that the state government is making efforts to set up a virology department or laboratory at the state-run Zoram Medical College to test suspected cases of coronavirus. Seven blood samples were sent to the Guwahati Medical College and hospital and six of them were tested negative for coronavirus, while the result of one sample is awaited. At least 163 people have been quarantined so far, of whom 8 have been discharged upon completion of 14 days observation period. Chief Secretary Lal Nun Muyao Chuango urged the people not to panic or believe in rumours and any information about coronavirus infection should be deemed fake unless it is issued by the State Health Department. Four more persons have been arrested in Mizoram for allegedly spreading fake news taking the total number of arrests to 15. A total of 799 people are currently held at detention centres for declared or convicted foreigners in Assam. This was informed in the Rajya Sabha yesterday. Union Minister of State for Home, G. Kishan Reddy, said, The foreigners' tribunals in Assam operate under the provisions of Foreigners Act 1946 and Foreigners' Tribunal Order 1964. As per the information provided by the government of Assam, 799 detainees are held in detention centres in Assam as on February 27th this year. Out of these, 95 detainees have completed three years or more in detention, he said, while replying to a written question. Reddy said 26 detainees have died during their detention due to illnesses in the past three years and current year. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu yesterday said that the army can play a significant role with its resources by providing training to people associated with the hospitality and adventure sports sectors in the state. During a meeting with General Officer Commanding of the 56th Infantry Division Major General Ajay Kumar Vij, 
The chief minister pointed out that the presence of army in almost all tourist districts of the state offers ample scope for it in contributing towards the development of tourism. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.